say before that um, business like this uh, you started five years ago and um, it's now expanded. What do you think the main reasons for why it's expanded? A um, number of reasons. I think um, infrastructure change, firstly. So we've seen things like um, the cycle hire scheme. We've seen things like um, cycling superhighways. Um, that's generated a lot of interest in cycling. Um, I think also um, other transport services um, becoming increasingly uncomfortable and um, miserable to use. Um, so therefore people are looking for alternative methods of transport. Cycling is definitely one of those. The more people that try it, the more people appreciate it. Therefore, the more people want to use the bike. Why do you think, um, why do you think that there's so many problems on the road at the moment? Um, if you're a cyclist, you know, you're a cyclist. Yeah. Do you think the main causes for uh, for accidents and um, Again, a number of things. I think um, awareness of road users is something that we all need to improve on. I think every different type of um, transport system. Um, London isn't designed for the bicycle uh, in terms of you know sort of its priority of uh, road users. Um, so that creates conflict. Um, and also, cycling as a, as a um, transport method is growing hugely. And so that then uh, dictates that we're going to need more space, need more um, consideration. Um, so we're working towards that. Yeah. Uh, how often do you like to say during the week do you cycle? You just mean just like everyday cycling? Everyday cycling. Yeah. Every day, all day, every day. Um, in my opinion, it's the, the best and only way to get around London. On, the, on average, um, how do you find, do you get a bad experience? Is it, is it a flash in the pan kind of thing? Um, yeah, not that often. Though. So I think um, the way you cycle in London often dictates issues that you have with, with cycling. So that kind of leads back to cycle training. In that, you know, we, we talk about you know, your position riding on the road, um, your awareness of other cars and how you communicate with other, other road users. And I think um, if you're constantly thinking about those issues and you're putting into practice the kind of things we suggest, you, you have far less issues. Um, and it's also about confidence as well. If you have confidence in the presence on the road, then um, you can dictate a lot, sort of, uh, lot more about how you want people to treat you as much as vice versa. So, the crazy happenstance that you were uh, elected mayor to the campaign, and yeah. now you're in office, what, what, do, what do you think would be uh, your plan to like, jeopardise the, uh, the system for cyclists? Um, I think long term, uh, cyclists uh, need a seat at the table. Um, and that comes for all um, sort of uh, road planning, you know, all, all sort of changes to the way that traffic is moved around London. Um, cyclists need to be considered as a major part of the transport mechanism. Um, I don't really feel that at the moment that's necessarily the case. Cycling is often an afterthought. Um, so I think that's how I would um, impose myself as a mayor, you know, in saying that um, we want, we see over the next 10, 15, 20, 30 years and on into London, we want a legacy of cycling, which isn't just a consideration, but a major part of our transport thoughts.